Hello students. Today we are going to do the topic digital presentation. Now uh, the screen which you can see this is open office screen in which you can see this presentation software is available. So we are going to study about this software. Now what is presentation? See presentation is a collection of slides that can be used to create oral presentations. Presentation is a good way to convey pieces of information in a structured way to a large audience. Okay, so we can present our views, our feelings, whatever we think regarding any topic, we can present that with the help of the presentations. In this, we can use text, images, graphs, tables, sounds, and videos and animations. So we are going to do this, how we are going to make the presentation. Now in some places this presentation is also written as impress okay so if it is impress you can use that otherwise you can open this presentation we will double click it. Now you will see a window in which three options are there first is empty presentation second is prompt template third is open existing presentation. Now empty presentation means we can work from the scratch that means from the starting so we will create all the components of the presentation and define each piece okay next is your from template from template means they are earlier pre-designed templates pre-designed presentations which can be used so we can modify the text in that we can use the uh, structure of the presentation third is your open existing presentation now this option is used to open an existing presentation which has been already created by you and it is saved in your system so you can open that presentation and you can edit it now next is we will create uh, click on the next button now we will click on the next button you can see the second thing is you can select the slide design from here you have the options presentation background and the presentations so each one has list of the choices for slide designs you can select the background that you want to have in the presentation so suppose we click on this presentation backgrounds now you can see this thing in which you have original black and white blue border all these options are given so you can choose any one of them like we choose original now we go to the next button now third thing is your select sorry slide transition window okay this is your slide transition window in which you can select the desired effect and the speed for the transition that means uh, the pace of the slides will move on which okay so after that you have to click on the create button so you can choose any effect from here suppose we uh, select wipe left now this is the way your presentation will look like afterwards or suppose we take wipe down or wipe right now we are selecting this one okay other effects are like uh, wheel clockwise so this is the presentation view now speed whatever the speed you want slow medium or fast so we want the medium speed only now we will click on the create button so our presentation is created. Now this screen is going to appear in front of you and by default you can see the name of this file is untitled one. Now we have different things in the screen. First is your title bar. So this one is your title which is representing the title of the presentation. Next is your menu bar. So these are the menus available next is your toolbars all these are the toolbars you can use in your presentation then slide view buttons okay you have the slide view buttons so you can use them next is your sorry these are the slide view buttons we have five uh, slide views normal outline notes handout slide sorter okay next is your line and filling toolbar line and filling toolbar so you can use it from here next is your presentation toolbar now these are your presentation toolbar you can use the different slide designs this is your task pane okay in which you can uh, keep your slides different properties are available 
then this one is your slide pane slide pane means suppose you have created the 10 slides so they all will be visible to you here now here only one slide is visible okay and this is also known as a workspace workspace then you have the drawing toolbar so these are the drawing toolbars from where you can take the various shapes then you have the status toolbar at the end at the bottom you have the status toolbar okay suppose it's showing slide one out of one that means there is only one slide now from here you can zoom in and zoom out your presentation like this you can zoom out zoom in so you can increase the size or decrease the size of your presentation according to your convenience now next thing is how we are going to save this presentation so you will go to the file save as button or the shortcut key is control plus shift plus s now it's going to ask this place where we need to save this file suppose we select the area where we want to save now i'm saving this file with the name class 9 ppt class 9 ppt now you can see the extension here is dot odp so it will be saved with the extension dot odp okay we will click on the save button now you will see your file will be saved and you can see here now that in the title bar the class 9 ppt.odp has come okay this is how you are going to save the file now if you want to open an existing file so you can press ctrl plus o or you can click from here okay and when you want to create a new presentation you have to click here now we are going to study about the elements of a slide so the basic element of a presentation in the slide are uh, titles and the subtitles like this is click to add title so we here we can add the different uh, headings different titles and under that here we can add the different subtitles okay then we have the text whatever we want to write in our presentation like we take this view now you can see here this is your title here you can add the subtitles then you can add the text also now here you will see that we have the various options to insert like we have pictures this is your insert table from here you can insert chart insert movie or insert picture okay this is how you can insert these things in your presentation now next thing is your view see view is what it is simply a way of managing and representing your slide so impress provides the six views of a slide in this you can see there are five are available okay so uh, first is your normal view now first we make a presentation a small presentation then we will uh, see these views now I've made a slide in which the title is your Guru Nanak public school and these are the subtitles your class 9 class 10 so if they are the subtitle you can make them bold so it will look like a subheading now class 10 also we can make it bold now you can see these are the subheadings okay after that we are going to make one more slide so you can click here right right click new slide now in this slide we take another design suppose we are taking uh, we are taking this design here you can add subjects now suppose here we add English okay it has entered the charts now you can see here I have added in this I have added a chart in this I have inserted a picture with the help from here you can insert the chart from here you can insert the movie insert the picture and insert the table so suppose here I insert the table I have taken five columns and two rows now the column will be inserted here so this is a your second slide has been created now we will so uh, we will um, first save this after that we will see the different views of the slide now you can see normal view this is the normal view in which you can see only one slide at a time okay second one is your outline view and your normal view is the default view okay second is your outline view so outline view shows you what it shows just the titles bulleted list and the numbers list if we are having so it is just showing the outline format now 
we can use this view to rearrange the order of the slide we can edit the titles we can edit the headings uh, we can edit whatever we have written in this so next is your third one is your notes now you can see the notes in notes view this view uh, shows one slide with the space at the bottom to add notes so here we can add the various notes whatever we want to write here we want to explain this slide or whatever we want to do then fourth is your handout now this is your handout view in this view it allows you to edit the handout master these boxes you can see from where you can edit the handout master which influences the look and layout of the handouts so after that you are going to take the printout of them now fifth is your slide sorter so in slide sorter what happens suppose in your presentation you are having 10 slides so all the slides will be visible to you here and after that if you want to move this first like you want this slide to come first and this to be second so you can rearrange these slides okay and if you want to delete any of the slide you don't want the slide you can delete it you can rename it you can okay you can hide the slide all of these things can be done with the help of slide sorter view so kids you can practice till here in your system and i'm going to show you the next thing is in the in the next video thank you all of you